Hey wizard, I can tell you that I'm loving the upgrades that you requested here on the Z-Score tool. I'm just playing around with it right now and experimenting with some new changes that have been made. I'm going to walk you through what those are now so that when you're using the tool, you're not left hanging, right? You, you have a good idea of what's going on. But, and I mean, look at this. This is perfect. <laughs> this is a perfect spread for arbitrage. Uh, what pair is this? Um, MTL XRP. Uh, look at this. This is a daily time frame over a one year period. And this looks great. So long story short, what changes have we made? So on the pre-screened, there are now three bots running for you. Um, one is on the daily time frame. The other one is on the hourly time frame, and another one is on the five minute time frame. So the daily time frame is updated every 30 minutes, and it looks at a year's worth of data for lots of coins and looks to see if they, there is uh, co-integrated pairs. And if so, it gives you some stats as to the behavior of their spread, which is what I want to do this video about. But first, let me just take you through the different parts. Then you've got the hourly one, which updates every 15 minutes. And it looks at 30 days of data. So it's no longer looking at 14. It's now looking at one month's worth. And then there's the five minute data, which is updating every five minutes. And it's looking at the last five days worth of data. And so this is really cool. So you can go and change this. Let's say you want to do some really short term trading. Change this to five minutes. And, and these are all really hot. Like here's one right now, right? So BNB to BTC looks to be a good one. This one here, KSM, I'm going to select that. And you'll see it pre-populated all for you, populated timeframes for you and everything um, just to match that indicator. But then you can go and change these to different timeframes if you want to on the actual charts. Um, now for five minute data, this is a lot of data. You can see there's a lot of data. So it takes slightly longer to run for five minutes. Um, but look at this, look at the spread. Perfect absolutely perfect and here's where the z score is right now if i wanted to i could go back here to five minute filter on z scores that look more favorable and right now there aren't any there aren't any with very big swings uh let's look at Chainlink and solana that that looks to be one as well um which seems to have a swing over two standard deviations so if we look at the z score right now it should be and look it's already just popped up um above two so you know, this is giving you some really short term ones. Now, typically, you're going to use daily in statistical arbitrage for stocks, etc. And what from what I can see, hourly works really well in crypto as well. But I know a lot of you have requested five minute, and I'm looking at the five minute, and it's just really interesting. You can also now go and run the charts here on five minute for anything you want. I mean, you could pick literally anything you want. Let's put in, I don't know, Google and Apple and run this on a five minute time frame um, over five days. So if I go and run that, I can do this against FMP. It doesn't have to be Binance. So you can do commodities. You could run it for foreign exchange, um, which is probably a good idea. Actually, I know a lot of you do use this for foreign exchange. You can run it for crypto, whatever. Um, so I'm loving it. I love what you've requested here. And the back testing will work for whatever selections you put up here. So I could go in, for example, select, I don't know, I'm going to do something on hourly for now. Uh, let's run this one over here, go and grab the chart. So IMX versus Cardano. Um, spread looks okay-ish, but let's just go and run a back test on it, for example. So all of the same tools you're used to for finding statistical arbitrage pairs that you can code into a bot or you can trade manually or however you want to do it. I mean, it's really easy. The return on investment on this one is really strong, but the sharp ratio is not so good. So this means for every dollar of risk, I'm only getting 90 cents in return, but I had some really good winning days. So actually, I know I'm getting a bit sidetracked here, but I just love this. I love playing with this stuff. Uh, yeah, you can see there was one trade here that worked particularly well here. Um, and this was a Cardano one. So that's really what brought you far into the positive. You can see your net balance jumped up quite high there. So really, really interesting for backtesting as well. Now let's get to what are these statistics because now, and I know some of you have done incredible work. I don't want to mention your name in particular, but you know, somebody here, one of the wizards had gone through the course and programmed just the most incredible tool. They sent me a video of it. It was just amazing. 
and they had their zero crossings count here, just like we learn in the training course, right? So in this, uh, which one is it here? The statistical arbitrage course here, just like we learn, you know, about all of this there. So if you don't know what this zero crossing count is, just briefly speaking, it's just a way to try and see how often does the spread touch the zero line. And it's not always a great indicator because that can happen for a period of time and then stop. But I've added to it this AD Fuller statistic. And this is a way to test whether something is stationary or not. So actually, if I go to Excalidraw, and I'll just go and, you know, do a new drawing here. Basically, if you see something trending like this, it's not stationary. And you don't really want a spread that's behaving like that. What you want is something that behaves more, it looks more random, right? That's what you want. And the closer to this you can get, the better. And this is called like a stationary random type um, chart, basically. So what we're testing for is something called stationarity. And that's what this does. And the lower the number, the better. Preferably is uh, under one, but it's highly unlikely you're going to find one that's under one, right? If it's above like three, I'm putting it as red, i.e. it's not so stationary. Um, but even that, it's not 100% foolproof, right? It could still be a really good pair for statistical arbitrage, even if these don't work out, but I just put them there to save time. So this one, for example, doesn't have many zero crossing counts, but it looks very stationary. So this is interesting. If I go and actually run this, um, and I don't have a p-value for that stationarity. So this one here doesn't actually look very strong to me. It doesn't actually look very good. Even though the movements are largely random, um, it doesn't look very good. So what I'm looking for is like green and green or something that's close to green and green. So this one here, for example, waves. This looks really interesting. If I go and run this uh, and I check it out, I mean, there's a huge event that happened here. This would have been a fantastic trade. But you can see here, it actually worked for the most part in terms of the zero crossing. Um, you would have picked this up on the Z score here. Let's see what you would have picked up here if you had traded this. Um, I'm just sort of scrolling up here. Uh, if you had traded this, I think you actually would have lost. I think you would have lost on that trade. And then I think you would have made mega bucks on this one. Uh, let me actually go and back test, go and back test this one as well, just to see roughly, you know, in hindsight, how would we have done? And again, back testing is not a perfect science, right? It's just a feeling for is this one worth my time or not? Yeah, the, the sharp ratio is horrific on this, right? For every dollar of risk you're taking, you're only getting 20 cents back, but you still would have made a 40% return um, based on this huge swing over here. So that's that's pretty cool. So it just goes to show the power of our small network here, right? The power of this small community. Um, these suggestions I thought were really good. I'd like to add to this tool at some point, some live trading where you can actually just paste in your API um, key for Binance or for say FTX, for example, and just trade pairs, you know, manually from here. If you think that would be something that you'd like, I'd like it for me, but if you think it'd be something that you'd like and you, you and you would use, just shout in the comments, something like, um, you know, auto trading or something like that. And that'll give me an idea as to whether that's, you know, worth, because that, that will take a lot of time and there's inherent risk in doing that, um, that I'd have to, you know, work on. But if enough people would use that, then, you know, including myself, then I think we should actually just put that in. Anyhow, I hope you found it useful. Until the next one, take care. Talk soon.